Hey, welcome back to Viper Bites. I'm Roman, and this is Lesson 2, Combat Speeds and Altitude. With the Viper in a very early access state, let's not waste our time digging into partially implemented systems. Instead, let's see how closely the DCS Viper matches real-world flight test performance data for the F-16 Block 50. For these tests, I used a clean aircraft with no external stores and 100% fuel. For this video, I've conducted four tests, mill power at 10,000 feet, afterburning power at 10,000 feet, mill power at 36,000 feet, and afterburning power at 36,000 feet. For all of these tests, I simply set the required power settings and allowed the aircraft to fly until it was unable to gain speed. The chart we are using can be found in the 1-1 Supplemental Flight Manual, Level Flight, Combat Speeds and Altitude. We need to know our drag index and gross weight. This is a clean configured aircraft, but we do have pylons. So depending on how you calculate your drag index, it should be around 52. I'm not sure how it's been modeled with ED, but the base aircraft has a drag index of 7. So at any case, we should be in the ballpark using the drag index 0 and 50 charts. For the first test, mill power at 10,000 feet, we should expect to see a top speed just shy of Mach 1.0. This was reflected in the sim. As you see on the HUD, we reached a top speed of 0.97. So far, so good. For the second test, after burning power at 10,000 feet, we should expect to reach a top speed of around 1.4 Mach. Again, as you see on the HUD, we reached a top speed of 1.44 Mach. So a little fast, but close. For the third test, mill power at 36,000 feet, we expect to see a top speed of Mach 1. Again, on the HUD, we see Mach 1. Great, on to the final test. After burning power at 36,000 feet, we expect to see a top speed of Mach 2. In the sim, I was able to get to Mach 1.81. This is a little slow, so maybe our drag calculation is slightly off. Moreover, I didn't bother converting for standard conditions. Nonetheless, I am pleasantly surprised with the outcome of these tests, and I look forward to the future development of the Viper. Thank you for watching. Hey, do you want more no-nonsense Viper content without rambling 25-minute long videos? Do you think my videos are worth your time? Help us out by liking, commenting, or subscribing. We appreciate it. I'm Roman, and thanks for watching Basic to Final.